In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to do a manual third angle orthogonal drawing to match the digital version I've been doing on this page so far. So I begin by drawing a margin away from the paper at a consistent width. So that I'm able to line the drawing up and keep it square, assuming that the paper is cut square, which it normally is. There's my margin. Now, the top view of this object is 60 millimeters wide. So I'm going to make it 60 wide. Then I'm going to allow space between the drawings. It's usual at A4 to allow 20 millimeters. So I'll allow that. The height of the object is 54 millimeters. So let's measure that out like that. 54. And there I have it. So now I've got the structure for the top view and the front view. It's 60 wide. So I like to measure at both ends of the line to get it straight and parallel. And notice how I have constructed the top view and the front view simultaneously using the same lines to get it all square. There's a ridge line in the middle at 30, so I'll make that now. Construction line here and a point on this line. Then we have a 24 millimeter diameter circle going through. So that's 12 millimeters from the center. Well, the center is at 12, I should say. Construction lines there. And I happen to know that I'm going to need them in the front view. definitely to put the circle on. I'm actually going to need the center line as well to center the circle. Okay, next, well that's pretty much all I need for the top view there. Now I'm going to start on the front view. I know that I've got to drop down here 24 and I can draw a line there. And I know that I have to drop down here 18. Uh, 18 is there. Measure in two places all the time because that's going to help you get keep your drawing square. 18 there could have been a little bit more accurate. Now I need to add in my radius here. It's five millimeters radius. So I need to measure my fives, create a center here, like that. I know that the center of the circle is at 17, which is here. And there's the center of the circle. Reach for the trusty circle template. A radius of 5 means a diameter of 10. So lining up that about as best as I can, I draw the radius in heavy there. And then I have a 24 millimeter diameter circle. Where's 24? There it is. Using the template correctly, I'm lining up 
the little black marks with the center lines and I'm drawing my circle neatly that's it there next 20 millimeters I'm going to allow for this now I'm not going to use the 45 degree method for this one because I'm not using a drawing board and I might not get my lines straight so I'm going to just go right ahead here and project the front view across for the right side view I'm noticing that I'm about 89 millimeters from the bottom of the page so I'm going to do the same thing there that's not square I'll just project it like this and I think it's 54 high measuring that there which is there we know that the front the the right side view matches this view on the top view so we know that it's 60 millimeters that way so it's also going to be 60 this way measuring two places keeps your work accurate I think it was 18 down there I hope yep let's just project this line across here and then I need how far is this 5 here and 12 for the diameter of the circle no, 24, isn't it? 24 for the diameter is there. That doesn't match up. What have I done wrong? There's the bottom. There's the top. I'll eyeball it, keeping it parallel. How does that look? All right, now I have the basic structure for my drawing. I've got all those construction lines set up well. Time to heavy it in. Heavy in the outline on the top view first. I have some hidden lines here for the center of the circle. When you're doing it, measuring there make sure that it's corresponding in the right place on the other view dashed lines beginning at the outline and terminating at the outline again i'm comparing it up here and i'm making sure that it's leading to that circle there dashed lines now what type of line should this be should it be a center line for that circle no should it be a hidden line no well it should be a center line because there's the center of the circle but the outline of this point takes precedence so the outline is seen while I'm there I'm going to heavy in that line let's go around the front view now running around the front view taking care to keep everything parallel I could have done this line when I was heavying in the top view and as a matter of fact I will do this I prefer to do lines from two views at once because it helps keep everything square there we go outline down here outline down here that outline now I have some hidden lines I need one more here for this edge of the circle hidden lines indicate an interior detail that we don't see from the outline 
I need a center line. Center line is a thin chain. In order to do thin with a pencil, just press a bit lighter. I need the center of this circle. Center lines project over the circle. And as I said, there would be a center line up here, but this line here is taking precedence. Now that's it. That's all for this first drawing where we did the basis of the manual third angle orthogonal. I'll be back in the next video to talk to you about how we uh, put in labels, dimensions, and a third angle orthogonal symbol.